December 20th today, folks, 2015, and uh, just a couple of days away from the uh, winter solstice. And uh, this is what the uh, bananas are looking like on the north end of Salt Spring Island in our garden here. Still no frost. And uh, sometimes at this time of the year, they look a little bit worse for where we get the winds, stuff like that. So anyway, there are, those are Mosabaju, Japanese fiber bananas. And as you can see, there's still new leaves opening up on these babies. And uh, these are the ones that I transplanted here from someone's garden a couple months back. And uh, they're even growing. They're even opening up leaves. That's why they look so crappy. Because some of the other leaves kind of died off from the transplant shock. But anyway, let's get underneath here. And uh, wind busted that one off. Bent it. But you can see how good they look. Not bad for uh, December 20th, huh? There's a taro in here. The leaves on that. So this is my grove of fiber bananas. And like I say, they're not 100% perfect, but not too bad for uh, December 20th here on Salt Spring Island. In the Great White North, supposedly the Great White North. I'm hoping it's going to be another snowless winter. That would be nice. And then these guys will go right through till spring. And uh, no protection on them at all. As you can see, there's the uh, canes here. See them in there. There's no, no bubble wrap or anything on them. They're all on their own, survival of the fittest. And I just mulched them with oak leaves on the ground. There's a bellflower in there too, a brugmansia. So let's just see how long these babies will keep going. We'll say that's today's banana vlog. And uh, like I say, the first day of winter is coming up in a couple of days. Palms are still growing. See all the palms down there. I put a bucket over my uh, filibusta. I have a Washingtonia filibusta under here, under that five gallons just to keep it dry. Winters are kind of wet here. Fatsy up there. Lots of eucalyptus trees. Arbutus strawberry trees there. And uh, lots of palms. I kind of clear cut this area a few years back. There's all trees in here, cedars, and I, I put in the subtropical garden. So I've got a sago palm over there too. Anyway, let's just hope they keep on growing. And I wish everybody a mild winter. Because I think that's the way us gardeners like it. Mild. That's all folks for today. <laughs>